Hello and welcome back to On The Workbench. Today we're taking a look at the set of sockets from Lyle. This is their More Torque Super Socket Set, five piece set, part number 82400. And so this is a set of specialty sockets that are very similar to Phillips. And so you can see this is brand new in the package here. That if you look here on this part of the package, you can see the overall outline and shape of what this drive type looks like. That this is very easy to confuse for being a Phillips screwdriver. A couple points here, a couple quick observations here. First, see that these are black on the surface. We flip this over, and with black, it makes me think of impact. And one of the first comments here in bold, not for use with impact wrench. So then I think that's a little deceiving. And the second bit of deception, a lot of Lyle products are actually made in the US. However, these are, let's see if we can get the zoom right there made in Taiwan. So a little disappointing. So let's go ahead and take these out of the package and see what you get. With these out of the package here, you can see the set here does come in this little rubber holder. And if we pull one of these out, look a little bit closer, you can see it's basically like a Phillips uh, head design that's got a little bit of a spiral twist to it and a little bit wider. So one of the things I'm speculating, or at least I intend to possibly use this on, is when I run across a stripped Phillips screw, this might be another option that I might have to help to remove this. And so this set includes a more Torx 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And so just to put that side by side, I've got my other Phillips screwdriver bits here. I've got a 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, these are all 3 8 drive. These more Torx definitely are beefier than these. Uh, these are Craftsman USA, which I think were likely made by SK. Uh, let's take a look. So if we look at a more torque number three, so we look on the, around the bottom of the socket, so there's warning, uh, wear eye protection, and then it says MTS3, so more torque screw size three. And we look at the head, and that more torque three is about the same size as a P4, screwdriver. However, the more torque three definitely has a wider center than what the Phillips four does. So a Phillips four is going to be closer to a more torque either two or one, oddly enough, as this goes down in size because a center size is just so different. And so this is the more torque size two, the MT two. And so these are intended to be able to provide higher leverage on certain fasteners. This is developed uh, by the Phillips Screw Company for this design. And so this MT2 is much closer to a Phillips 4. And so these are commonly used in seats and other body components that need to be firmly attached and held together. And so while I don't have a specific use for these right now, Again, this is better, it's a tool that I think is better to have and not need than to need and not have. And I anticipate that especially this bottom size one here, this more torque zero, may be useful in trying to remove a stripped Phillips screw. I don't know yet if that's gonna work or not, but it seems like a very viable option that I have to at least try out to see if I can get any mileage out of that or maybe even the one. I don't know that the higher numbered ones will be able to double as that purpose or not, but just my thought and why I picked up the set. I'm always looking for new ways to try to get things done easier, faster, more efficient. And this just seemed like one of the ways to do it. Okay, now we're gonna take a little more look at the MT or the more torque size zero and how it compares with some common screw sizes. So what I have here, and this is not sponsored, is a few screws from Spax. I, I have quite a few of these Spax screws that I keep that I use for various woodworking projects where they also have the combination where this one is good for a Phillips number two or a Robertson square number two. And so for example, here's one of those screws here and I can fit either the square or the Phillips. So here's a Phillips, I'm sorry, a square number two, also known as a Robertson number two, or I can fit a Phillips bit into it, just like that. And now if we take this more torque bit, 
We try to fit this more torque bit into this one that's a Phillips 2 or a Robertson 2. It doesn't quite bite in, but I've got one size up just a little bit bigger. And this is size for a Robertson or a square number 3, which is what I've got bit, the bit I have in my hand here. That seats down. In fact, it'll even hold it. Take that out. Or if I put in, you can see the wider barreled Phillips number 3 bit in my hand there. Put that in and it'll take it no problem. And this more torque size zero, just for reference, we're gonna put this in and it'll take it just fine. It's got a little bit of play, but it fits pretty snugly. So this, so just for a quick reference, that size zero matches pretty closely with a Phillips three. Now I'm gonna use my impact driver and drill in these two screws into this piece of wood so you can see it in action and how you might be able to use these with these screws. And there you can see we've got the screws sunk. Now I'm just gonna see if I can take this bit and just kind of work it around a little bit here and try to strip this out. I think this is still drivable. So I'm gonna to try to chatter this up a little bit more. Now with my drill, I'm gonna to try to chatter up the heads of these screws a little bit more to strip them out just a little bit quicker on camera. I've got the more torque zero socket here on a ratchet and I'm gonna to try to dig this in to my chattered number two. And that is not working, but even into this chatter number three. No problem. We'll go back and drive that down again. So we knew from the beginning that this was not very good with the Phillips number two. So let's try to chat this up a little bit more and see if it'll still work with the Phillips number three. Back with the drill. All right, so hopefully we got this all chattered up now. We're gonna put in the Phillips number three. Nothing. Now we're gonna try the more torque socket to see if that does any better. And we are getting nothing well, other than metal shavings here with the size two, I'm sorry, the size zero. We're gonna try to go up a size since we did kind of drill this out. And now I have switched to the more torque size one. And we'll see if this gets us anywhere. Hopefully you can see with a little bit of pressure here, we're able to get this out and going up that size. We're able to finally get this, at least break this loose a little bit. And now at this point, I'd be able to pull this out with All right, there we go. We can see, take a look at that screw that we just stripped out. 
and the more torque was able to remove. Now there's obviously a variety of other ways to do this with screw extractors, but this just shows the more torque does provide another option for a stripped screw. It might not be perfect, but it's just another tool you might have to, get the, to help you get the job done a little quicker without having to go for the screw extractors with your Phillips screw. So with that, hope you found this video useful and interesting, and have a great day. Bye.